It is 2 o'clock. It is the 22nd day of January 2021. I am your grumpy guide to all things gaming. And look what showed up! I actually didn't think they meant it when they said they were going to send me a free copy and stickers. Do you remember a couple of months ago I was contacted by Gabriel Valentini and the writers of Digital Lizards of Doom to review their comic book, Digital Lizards of Doom. They sent me a PDF. I looked at it, not being a comic book guy. I just said, you know, I like the aesthetics. I like the gonzo, uh, you know, 1980s heavy metal Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle wackiness of it, but you know, and I said I'd get my local comic book shop to carry it, which I have tried, and they said they would send me stickers, and I was like, okay, fine, whatever, and everybody were like, yeah, stickers. I'm like, you know, you know what? I'll pretty much do anything for stickers or toys or free stuff, but generally, yeah, my top three of thing of motivations to get me to do something, if it involves stickers, I'll probably do it. I don't know why, I just love stickers. So this showed up in the mail today. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. So let's finally take a look. I took a brief look at it. Um, it's different. It is definitely not what I expected. So it really is a graphic novel because you have a picture on one side and then you sort of have these talking heads of what the characters are doing in each you know page. So it's telling a very interesting story. It's not your usual wham, bang, four color, four corner. Spider-Man comic book. This is different. This is wacky. Um, it is not at all what I expected. I love the gonzo heavy metal art. Uh, it's very minimalistic. It's very it reminds me of like, you know, uh, uh, Mutant Year Zero, uh, Mutant Call Classic, Dungeon Call Classic. That, that really, you know, that 80s acid style heavy metal... Uh, airtight garage stuff like that uh very minimalistic very wacko very descriptive you know and then just the style that they wrote it in with just these little talking heads each having their little conversation instead of you know bam 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 this i don't i I've, I've never seen this before i'm sure that it has been done maybe or maybe this hasn't been never done before this is my first exposure to this style of doing a comic book let's just read I mean, I guess there's some, is there something in here that tells me who all these people are? Uh, no. Wait, is there? I mean, I see some heads. Okay, okay. So these hat. Here we go. Here's it tells you who everybody is. So all these little heads, and then we go to a random page. And we see the little heads, and like this little head is saying, uh, His Royal Graciousness is the beautiful and perfect Comrade Echo. And this royal head is saying, Comrade Echo holds no authority over the people of. So you don't get it. Um, and then I guess you have to try and find them in the picture. You know, where is this little head in the picture? I guess he's over here. So, you know, it's definitely different. Um, it's not what I'm used to. I do like the art style. It's definitely an art style I'm used to. Uh, you know, it's not typical comic book art, but it's definitely very visual. But it's not so in your face, you know, crazy 80s visual color vomit. Let's just be weird for the sake of weird, you know, like gumball or uh, uh, SpongeBob or just whatever. You know, I mean, there's obviously some stoner art in here, but it's, it feels very much more. 1980s uh, heavy metal, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, underground comics, just sort of that wacky gonzo, you know, heavy metal the movie. Uh, it's a one way trip into paradise. Uh, yeah, definitely see the influences. Um, but this, this is different. This is new. This, this is unique. I look forward to re reading it. Uh, thank you very much, Digital. Lizards of Doom, Level 1, Dizzy Doom, Gabriel Valentini, and Ernie Nahara. These, set, these, these seem like really awesome dudes. I'd love to get a drink with them sometime if they're ever in Ventura. Uh, this goes for 25 bucks. It is, I can't tell, but looks like about 40 pages of awesomeness. The art is great. The story is interesting. Uh, it's definitely creepy. 
I yeah, it's I love the style. I love the sort of self-referential, the tongue-in-cheek, the Invader Zimness, the just sort of the craziness. This is definitely something I look forward to reading. I am very excited that they sent this to me. I was expecting maybe one sticker. They sent me a dozen. <laughs> And they sent me a free copy of the book, which I wasn't expecting at all. So thank you very much. Check it out. Uh, go to your local, friendly local comic book store. Ask them to carry it. If they don't carry it, demand that they do carry it. And yeah, thank you very much, guys. This looks like an awesome comic book. Of course, I'm not a comic book guy. I haven't read a comic book. It, this will be the first comic book I've read since Planetary Collected Edition. So that's like four or five years that I haven't picked up a comic book. So... I look forward to reading this. I look forward to continue the adventuring of the digital, digital lizards of doom. Anything that involves the word doom in it, I'm a fan of. Anything that involves stickers, I'm a fan of. Anything that involves a lizard in a Hawaiian shirt going hang loose. Very 1960s. Uh, you know, yeah, just wow. Psychedelic acid comic. Uh, retro 80s. Heavy metal, European, underground, but not overpowering vomit art so yeah i like it thank you very much uh if you want to see me review more things like this send them to me or comment down below and maybe i will go to seth's games anime here in ventura and pick them up uh if you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet please subscribe help me hit 500 subs so this is our uh i said i would do something special for 300 and this is it i am reviewing this and i have nothing bad about to say that so thank you very much for being part of the OG GM adventure, Digital Lizards of Doom. Thank you, David Lawson, for being number 300 sub. And thank you all for being part of the crazy ride that is the OG GM adventures. More to come. I will talk to you later.